In this lecture, we'll go into more detail. In this lecture, we'll go into more detail about the American financial system. The guardian of the overall financial system in the U.S. is the Federal Reserve Board, or the Fed, as it is commonly called. It's an independent agency of the federal government that was established in 1913 to regulate the nation's banking and financial industry. The Federal Reserve System is organized into 12 regions, each with a Federal Reserve Bank that serves its designated area. The Federal Reserve Board is the chief economic policy arm of the United States working with Congress and the President. The Fed tries to create a positive economic environment capable of sustaining low inflation, high levels of employment, and a balance of international payments, as well as sustaining long-term economic growth for the United States. The Federal Reserve has four major responsibilities. We'll talk about them in some later lectures. But overall, one is to control the supply of money or monetary policy. If more money gets is needed in the economy in order to move things forward and promote investment, money is, quote, printed. And I say printed because it's not really printed as physical currency, although that occurs, but rather it is just injected into the economy through increasing credit as well as printing, uh, printing funds. Number two, it regulates banks and other financial institutions. Three, it manages the regional and national checking account procedures or check clearing. That is when you go and you process a check in California from somebody that sent it to you from New York, those, that processing, the back office processing, occurs through the Federal Reserve processes. And fourth, it supervises the federal deposit insurance programs of banks that belong to the federal government or to the Federal Reserve System. In other words, banks that are supported by the Federal Reserve have this federal deposit insurance, which means that if you deposit less than a certain amount, currently $250,000, then that is, re that is insured. So you don't have to worry if your bank goes broke that you can't get your money. It prevents run, what used to be called runs on the bank, which means people start to be afraid banks are gonna go bankrupt. They go to the bank to get their money out first and that rush or that run can cause a collapse of the banking system. So the Federal Reserve, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation prevents that by guaranteeing that your funds will be there up to this certain limit. In the next, uh, in the next lecture, we'll go more deeply into one of the main functions, the one we hear about the most, which is monetary policy.